Hello, people of the internet. Look, I have a lot of oh hoo hoo water based markers here. Oh hoo hoo. <laughs> and I want to know what the difference is because these here in the middle are new ish. These are the oh hoo hoo jewel tip journal pens, and I want to know what's different. What's different about these to these? So. We are going to swatch, we are going to play, we are going to do all the compare and see whether these, well, see what's different about these. First things first, we need to look at them and we have to have a look and see what they look like compared to the other pens. So, let's bring you to the dust up a little bit. These are the original water-based pens that came in this case that I bought. I, I've no idea how long. I'll put it on the screen how long I bought them and they look like this <laughs> they are fairly nice pens for colouring in adult colouring books I did a swatch with them they're covered in my uh, pens good pens for double sided colouring they've got a really fine tip on that end these were replaced not long later by these which <laughs> look similar they have the same tip at that end and the same fine line at that end uh, so they were sort of like the, these are the upgraded version these I found that you can get these you know white labeled by many other um, companies not just oh hoo hoo they, they all look the same um, these not so much <laughs> these sort of came in this shape only by oh hoo hoo I think but these are old and then they brought out these and these were described as art markers brush and fine water based blendable and I believe that when these came out these came out to compete very much with the um, Tombows and they did I did a whole video about comparing these with Tombows and they came out quite nice um, they've got a nice uh, colour number on them they have the name on them, so you can see that's G O five O. I say nice; it's very small. <laughs> G O five O Chartreuse Green. They have a brush tip at that end. They have a fine tip at that end, so not not like the the these pens that had the ultra fine like fine liner tip. So, and then let's have a look at the new ones. Let's move these to one side. And then the new ones, they, came, they come in this box. This box is very similar to the box that something else comes in. I think it's their new alcohol markers come in a similar box to these. I've got a flappy lid. Then you get some bits and bobs. You get a very thin paper swap sheet, which has got all the names and colors on them. You get a tiny miniature, um, what's this called? Swatch sheet. Oh, who thought it come with a nice little pin there? And then you get this. Let's find the English to see what it says about them, to see whether it explains the difference. Avoid contact with skin, glasses, or clothing. Oh, well, I'm in trouble then. Every time I use a pen, it goes all over me. If you get the product in your eye, rinse out with clean water or saline solution immediately. Please store products in a dry, cool, well-ventilated place. Well-ventilated. Store the product away from heat sources, sparks, flames and hot surfaces. They're water-based. I'm worried they're going to catch a light now. Please use the product in a well-ventilated environment. Oh, these sound scary. And remember to clean the countertop and wash your hands after use. Do not eat the product. It's hard work chewing through that plastic. If you accidentally swallow the product, seek medical, uh, medical care immediately. Why do they say using a well ventilated area? Okay, let's choose one. Olive yellow. There isn't a chartreuse green, is there? I was going to try and match one. There isn't a chartreuse green. So this is olive. What number is it? 55. 55. 55 is not. Oh, there it is. Olive green. Is this one olive green? This one's dark. Oh, there's a dark yellow. Let's get the two that are the same. Which number is dark yellow? Number four. Dark yellow. That one. Deep yellow. 
Oh, there's deep yellow. We'll have to use that. Okay, we we'll use it. We'll compare these two. Are these the same pen? Oh, they look very similar. They look very similar, don't they? Okay, let's have a look. So body-wise, let's put you down. So this is the dual tip journal pen. Are they just trying to capitalise on a new, you know, on the journaling trend by rebadging their old pens and calling in journal pens? So a hoo hoo dual tip pens. And these are the old ones, which the water-based marker. Okay, so. Brush-wise, they look very similar. Obviously the bodies are different. Remember the lids, that's the old one, that's the new one. And then on this end, okay. So the new ones have a ultra fine tip so the same as the same as the old school ones okay so lids all on we've had a look at the pens so now one thing I will do just before I swatch them is I will compare them to a Tombow tote. This is a Tombow. Oopsie. This is the Ohuhu that they brought out the first time around, the art marker. And this is the dual tip. So, oh, you can see straight off the bat that lid is looking very similar, isn't it? Look at that. And then let's have a look at the bodies. So. Tombos only have the number on them, not the name. Okay, so the Tombos are very similar. I wonder if Tombow said you can't make them pens so similar to ours. So these are now these are now off the market, and they've brought out these ones instead because that's got that that one on it. Mm. Okay, let's do the swatching. On to the swatching. Not getting them mixed up. Uh oh. Somehow I've put, yes, <laughs> I've put one of those in there. I knew I would. So many pens. Right. I have a swatch sheet because they have names. They have numbers on them, but it is only a sticker. In theory, you could pick it off. So, are they in the box in order? We'll find out, won't we? Pale yellow. Mm, that is pale yellow as well. Very nice. I'm going to leave them out when I've done them. Number two, canary yellow, which looks almost identical to be fair. Number, what, wah, this one hasn't got a number on it. That's the problem when they've only got stickers on them. Okay, I'm going to jump around now. 43, lemon green. I actually put these in the same order as they are in on the swatch sheet. Okay, That's, that is quite lemony green. What was this one? Number four, deep yellow. Nice colour. Nice colour. Where's this one? Low, low quat, low quat. It's probably a proper way of saying that. Six. Peachy colour, really. What's this one? Number 11, orange pink. Just pink, really. Can't really see any orange in it. This one, cherry white. Cherry white, cherry white. Oh, well, that's very pale. Barely see anything. <laughs> and this one is pastel rose. Looks nice. I wonder if these are more like um, mild liners. 19, Hollyhock, spelt wrong, there's only one L. Holyhock. 
Oh, it's a holy hawk. 18, soft violet. It's quite soft. What's this one? 25, wisteria. That's very light. Very pale. Number 24, blue violet. It's going to be one of these ones over here, randomly. Yes. What we got next? 22 azalea purple. That's over here as well. It's like these ones over here are the bright ones and these ones over here are the more pale ones. Emerald green, number 39. That's gonna, yeah, that's right over here as well. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Very emeraldy green. Just notice that they're not falling over in the box because they have four sections. That's quite good, isn't it? India blue, 28. Very bright, these colours. Very vivid, aren't they? Let's get one of these power ones. Actually, if I look, I'm taking them from this side. It's almost like this side... This side was the lights, and this side was the darks. Oh, fruit pink, 103. Back over here for fruit pink. I wonder how similar that is to the fruit pink of the um, in the alcohol markers. Bud green, 41. That's quite a vivid green. 40, acid green. Acid! <laughs> That's not very acid green. It's quite a nice green. The other one was more acid green. This one is light green. 42. 4 and 2, 42. And it is a light green. Still got this one to one side because we didn't have the number on this one, so it'll be whichever one's left over. 23. Clematis 23. That's quite a vivid colour. So maybe my idea of one side being light and one side being dark is not quite right. 35. Mid mint green light. Not that light. Uh, 26. Pastel blue. That is a bit. I'm going go over them twice and they're not not peeling up the paper at that point we will try them in a coloring book just for why not why not sees 34 peacock green nice color okay are we fully over is this going to be 105 purple gray 2 it is which it is so i'm guessing this yellow one is number three yellow cream It's very bright yellow. <laughs> okay, not very creamy. And then we have this one, which is obviously black. 72 black. Very, very deep black. And then we've got fluorescent orange. There's quite a lot of fluorescent colours, which has made me wondering if they're sort of trying to be highlighters. Fluorescent yellow, they really are highlighters. Highlighter colours as well. Fluorescent green. This one is fluorescent violet. This one is fluorescent pink. Ooh, that is neon. How much do they look like the colours? That one's not so much. Let's grab some of these. What was that one? Pastel blue. So the lids do not look anything like the colours at all. 22 azalea purple. Mm. So that one does a bit. Let's grab this one. This one was soft violet. That one. Oh, it does a bit. Maybe we'll balance them all out in a minute and I'll have a look. Number 8, French vermilion. It's 
orange. 52, henna. Eighty one bitter chocolate. Forty nine pecan. Pecan. They seem to be putting them when I was they seem to be putting them in order when I was typing them up out. Because it's the colour order off this sheet. They seem to be putting them in order when I was typing them up off this sheet. And then randomly they just went, yeah, I'd just throw a few others in. And they were just all oh, different colours. Fluorescent blue. This one is called Dog Rose. It's a very fluorescent pink top. It's a very bright pink. It went over that and it didn't didn't make like I'd gone over it. Oh, do these smell? They smell of nothing. They don't smell of anything. They don't smell like they need to be used in a ventilated area. That one's called Vivid Red, and this one is called Deep Scarlet Red. Okay, so that's really the first proper red that we've got, because that one looks a bit corally. Okay, let's have a look at these colours. So we have a, two yellows that look similar, and then a deep yellow, a couple of oranges. There's a French Vermilion orangey one there, a couple of reds, a couple of pinks. We've sort of a couple of sort of very light pinks over here, pastel rose, two purples, a couple of blues, three greens, that purple grey, lavender grey I suppose. Got a couple of more blues, another green there, a couple of browns. What happened to olive yellow? Did I not do olive yellow? Hmm. Interestingly, though these don't smell, my eye is stinging. <laughs> Maybe that's why it says use them in the ventilated area. I did take a big sniff. Oh yeah, makes me eyes water. They don't smell of anything though. Ooh, a bit worried now. Oh, I've opened my window because they made my eyes a little bit stingy. Um, so let's have a look. That's this, 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 this is the swatch of my old set of 80, all of those years ago. And colour wise, I mean, it's hard to tell, but yeah, there's so many, so many colours in the world, isn't they? They do look like they're a subset of the ink from these, though, to be fair. Hmm. Okay, and I do also have the Opuhu art markers swatched, but because they were art markers and they were supposed to be blended them, blendable, I put them on um, watercolour paper and blended them out, which back then they blended out quite nicely. I don't think I've ever swatched them on normal paper, unless there's a... No, I didn't, because would have been, it would be behind there. So let's try and see what these blend out like. They're not, they don't say they're blendable, because it says they're journal pens. So let's just... Uh... So they do blend out. Maybe if they was on watercolour paper, they they would. Well, they don't blend out, they just move a little bit because they're water based. Hmm. Okay. It's just water in this pen, by the way. Right, what else do I want to do? I want to try them in a colouring book. So let me put them all back in the pot and then I'm going to get my one of my double sided colouring books and have a play with that. As I've put them away, I'm just going to compare the, the lids. So. A little more grey on that one. This one is this is the light green. They're not too bad in matching. This is the bud green. Doesn't really look like that at all. This is the acid green. Does look like that. No, not really. Let's have a look at the blues. I've got mint green light. That does a bit. Uh, got the next one was peacock green. Mm, nope, that's much darker. This was pastel blue. Is that that one? You can tell which one is which 
from this subset. What's this one? Clematis. Okay, so you get eight in each little square. Wisteria was that very pale one. So if I had to pick it out, I'd go with that. And I chose the wrong one. So it must be that. Nope. And it's this one, is it? Yeah, Wisteria is that one. So I guess that does look like that a little bit. It's like a pale bluey one. Wisteria. And then we've got Hollyhock. And then we've got Soft Violet. That doesn't look like that colour at all. And then we've got Pastel Rose. Was that this one? Yes. I can sort of pick out which ones they are. And then we've got Fruit Pink. Grab all of these sort of pinky looking ones. It's one of these ones. Oh, yes, Fruit Pink. Uh, fruit Pink is that one. Yeah. And then this one is Orange Pink. Is lighter still, and then oh, I've just noticed something that's interesting. The slots are not the same size, so four eight fit in the back slot. Uh, this is the one with no number, which we determined was yellow cream. We'll come back to that one. This is number six. What happened to Cherry White? Cherry White, Cherry White. There he is, number nine. That's Cherry White, and then we've got. Low quat, low quat. Hmm. And uh, what was this one? This is the one we don't know, which we said was yellow cream. And then this one is deep yellow. Oh dear, that doesn't look anything like that, does it? Uh, and then we're left with canary yellow. Just about. And that lightest yellow, pale yellow. So in the box, when you put them in the box, four fit in the back and 12 fit in the front. That's how they've broken it up. Okay, let's carry on colour matching. So bitter chocolate. Okay, bitter chocolate was that one there. Then we had fluorescence, all the fluorescence next. Fluorescent Violet. Oop. Doesn't look like the caps. What we're doing here is just comparing the cap colours. Fluorescent Green. Kinda. Fluorescent Orange. I mean, you can tell that's fluorescent. And you can tell that's fluorescent on the paper. So you would grab the right pen if you were going for the cap. Fluorescent Blue. I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed Indian blue there. So that's that one. Fluorescent pink. Is it going to be this one? It is. Fluorescent pink. Lovely. I'm seeing if I can grab the right colours because that's kind of really what you want to be able to do, isn't it? Grab the ones. Then this is fluorescent yellow, which it is. Yay. And then we've got black. That one's easy to grab. They all live at the back, them ones. They were all together. Hmm. We've got olive yellow. It's not a bad match. Actually, it looks more like that one, doesn't it? No, not really. Olive yellow. And then this one. No, that one, I could tell. <laughs> I say I could tell. Is it that one? Yes, it is. Henna. That one looks like that one. I'm trying to work out why you would buy these over... The art set. I know they're not a bad price actually. I think they're only about £12, even cheaper than that maybe. Pecan. And if you just wanted a selection for journaling, like instead of buying a load of Tombows, because you can definitely use these ones as mild liners, couldn't you? And then these ones as like, you know, when people are doing journaling. Uh, lemon green. You can tell that one. That's a nice colour actually. Do, 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 do. Emerald green, that's that one. That little section together look really nice actually. I wish the pot had holes in them. That's just me being fussy though. Emerald green was just done. Indian blue must be that blue because it's the only blue really left. I actually 
there's not many blues, is there? That's a purple. And there's that blue and that blue, fluorescent blue and Indian blue. They're the only two blues. Um, blue violet. Not a bad colour. Match. Not a bad colour match. Azalea purple. I'm guessing you. Yes. That's that one. And the last four, we've got Dog Rose, which I remember was a really bright cap and it is a really bright colour pen. And then Vivid Red, which I would not call a Vivid Red at all. It's sort of like a deep coral. And then this one is Deep Scarlet Red, which is a good colour name for it. And this one, French Vermilion. Bit. Not bad. Okay, they're all back in their box. Lovely. And in, in the order Whoop. that they were when I opened them. So, let us get a colouring book. One of the colouring books I used when I was testing out all water-based markers was this Lulu Mayo book and all of these are water-based markers and it was to see which ones went through and I've added to it over the years so we're going to add to it again now we're going to pick one of the leafy colours I think I'm going to get that emerald green and I'm going to we are running out of leaves on this page though well this sort of shape leaf I'm going to colour this one here and we are going to see I don't know why my arm's not going down at the moment it's like it got stuck has it got stuck up there Oh, it's just got stiff. That's because I've left it unused for a bit. It, it's not liking me. Right. They feel so similar to the other art markers that they brought out. So that didn't go through that page, which is nice. What happens if you do a second layer? Did go for a little bit, you can see it ghosting through there. Which is fair enough, because it's only a water based marker. Let's just grab one of the um, old, old ones. This one will do. It didn't have a name back in the day. See the feel of it. Okay, so the feel of the tip of the old ones is softer, a bit wobblier. The tip's firmer in the in the journal pens. And then let's get a colour from these art markers. Need to get a deep, deep green. And okay, so I'm going to use this one, which is oh, emerald green. Da da da. Same name. Ooh. Okay, the art marker feels similar in the laydown. The the tip feels very similar. They look similar, don't they? Tips very similar. Camera wants to focus on the background. It's got faces on it. There we go. So the tips look very similar. This is the old one. This is the new journal pen one. They are probably the same tips, aren't they? I'm going to do a second layer of this one. And that went down almost exactly the same, didn't it? The colour looks... So, not that middle one, but this one. And this one. The colour looks very similar, doesn't it? Let us do them together. On a piece of paper. See how similar these two emerald greens are. I'll do it on this. So this is... Emerald green in the art marker, and 
emerald green in the new jewel tip journal. Oh, they're the same, aren't they? I wonder if they're going to bring out a second box of the jewel tip markers oh, um, ones. Let's see if we can find any other colours that are the same. Let's have a look at the swatch sheet because that's got all the names on it and that will make sense after me manually looking. Pastel Rose. Did we have a Pastel Rose? We did. Pastel Rose. R140. Dark brush. Pastel Rose. Okay, we've got one. Pastel Rose. Uh, canary Yellow. Ooh. Canary Yellow. We've got that as well. Got two now. Let's find one more for luck. Is there another one? Mint green light. Oh, mint green light. Okay, so we've got three from the old art marker ones. Not that old, but you know what I mean. And we'll pick the same matching colours. So let's do the pastel. What's it called? Pastel rose first. Zoom you in a little bit. Pastel Rose in the old, and was this one Pastel Rose? Pastel Rose in the new, so they're both Pastel Rose. Okay, that's Pastel Rose in the old, that's Pastel Rose in the new. I hear you, they're the same. And then let's do um, Canary. Canary yellow in the old. Really light yellow that. And no, that's deep yellow. Where's canary yellow gone? Why would you taking it out? Oh no, it's this one. Hmm. I've, got, I've got it all over me. Look, I'm gonna die. those them two together and Sulamore the mint green light old one beautiful colour new one actually I've got those around the wrong way and I've just done emerald green so you all went oh it's not the same that's because I just did emerald green that's the old one I'll do it again just so look mint green light in the old art marker and then I've got to get mint green light. Mint green light in the new. A bit more bluey that one, isn't it? Oh, maybe not when it's drying down. Just was wet when I looked here. Let's put emerald green next to that one as well so we can go all set. Yeah, so the same ink in these by the looks of it, isn't it? Okay, so that is my review, compare, testing of these new-ish Ohuhu dual tip journal pens. I think for the money, because they're only about 11, 12 pounds, they're good value for money. But if you already own, own these, you, you definitely don't need them because they're the same pens and you've got more colours in these ones. Um, if you've already got the big set as well, you know, like the 80, 120 set, I wouldn't say you need these either. But if you haven't got any, and you may be looking for some to sort of like use in your journaling, that may be a good plan. Oh, though there is one more test I want to do. One more thing. I wanted to try these. So these were, uh, when I looked these up on Amazon, these popped up dual tip brush pens they were a little bit cheaper than these not much um there's 36 of these there's 40 of these but i thought okay let's see let's see if they're anything similar to the old google ones that have just come out you know similar in style similar in the way they work now we're off and running these are going to look exactly like yeah they are <laughs> these are the exact same aren't they as the um remember i told you at the beginning these 
Leo Hoo Hoo. Look at that, white labelled ones. The only difference is they don't have a number on them. I don't think I'm even going to bother to test these. We'll have a look to see. Oh, these lids are hard to get off. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Do 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 do. Twinnies! <laughs> Twinnies! I don't actually know if our, um, oh, who, who still make these type pens. They didn't really make them, they white labelled them when they first came out before they sort of took off with their alcohol markers. They uh, just white labelled these from another factory. Okay, I'm not going to bother to test those because they are identical. They feel cheap and nasty and not very nice at all. Like I say, just like the old white labelled Ohuhu pens so don't recommend them not for 11 99 or whatever they are they had a they had a chunk of money off of them so they I think there was 11 99 minus 10 percent or something but yeah no these are not anything like these these are much better than these and in that sense these are much better than these too <laughs> but they are very similar to these so I'm not sure whether it's because um, um, Ahuhu stopped making these um, and they're making these instead. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. That's it. I've had a good old play with them, I think. I've done all the all the things that people usually ask. I've tried them in a double-sided colouring book. I've compared them. I've compared the caps with the colours. Um, yeah. Would I buy them? No, because I've already got the full set of the other ones. But if you haven't, you might want them. So, yeah. Link will be down below as well. Take care. And thanks very much for watching. Bye. Thank you.